So he first showed me this article when we were in London. We were walking around. We were doing some shopping. He was like, yo, I need you to look at this article somebody wrote about me. And I could not believe what I was reading. It starts off with this, which is Josh Wolf is an American comedian, True. actor, and writer known for his hilarious stand-up performances and appearances on television shows such as Chelsea Lately, My Name is Earl, and uh, Raising Hope. These are all true. All of those are true. Yeah. While his comedic talent is undeniable, many fans often wonder about his physical stature. In this article, we will delve into the topic of how tall is Josh Wolf. By the way, can I tell you last night, those new boots that I had, they add like two or three inches. I, f I may just wear them all the time. You were still shorter than me. I was still shorter than you, but six foot is such a happy place to live. Absolutely, it is. God, is that, is that, now I know why tall people look down on us short fucks, because they're like, they're living in a different world. Dude. Whole different, whole different temperature. Six feet. And I was like, oh yeah, man, I was feeling myself at six feet. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, right. Five interesting facts about Josh Wolf. Interesting fact number one. <laughs> Josh Wolf stands at an impressive height of six feet, three inches. That's Listen, right. That is so wrong, I couldn't even... The number six already off the bat is wrong. You're 5'10". 5'11". 5'10". Don't stop it. Stop five it. You're 5'10". I'm like 5'10 and three quarters. You're like 5'10 and a half. If anything. I'll give you the half inch, but you're 5'10". I, I did Dan's 5'10". Not a single chance in hell Dan's 5'10". If Dan's 5'10", I'm 7'4". I am... Dan Wolf is not 5'10". Dan am, Wolf is barely pushing 5'9". Oh, I Maybe. can't. Maybe. Yeah, I can't wait to clip this. I can't... Yeah. Uh, but I'm 5'10 and three quarters. 5'10". We're going to stick at that. Okay. This makes him significantly taller than the average American male, which measures around 5'9". He's not significantly taller than that because he's only 5'10". Well, listen, dude. Even if you're saying I'm just 5'10", I am significantly taller than 5'9". An inch is not significantly taller. It is when you're dealing between 5'9 and 5'10". That's like between 5'11 and 6 foot. It's a significant inch. Yes. But also not... It's significant like... That was my nickname in high school, significant inch. For real. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, a great name... For a rapper. <laughs> Significant inch? Is a great name for a rapper. Yeah, dude. Top notch. His height grants him a commanding presence on stage and screen, enhancing his comedic performances. I, I, I doubt that. <laughs> this next one, number two. Towering over Chelsea Handler. Pause again. She's like the same fucking height she as you. She is not the same height as me. You stop that right now. She's a taller she is, woman. She is not the same height as me. She's, she's five, five six. Tall. No, she's not. Five six. Chelsea's not 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. We'll see about that. <laughs> Josh Wolf gained a widespread recognition as a frequent guest on the popular late night talk show. True. Standing at 6'3", True. Wolf often towered over Chelsea Handler at 5'6". This height became a reoccurring joke. This height difference became a reoccurring joke and added an extra layer of humor to their on-screen banter. We never joked about not my height. Not once was there a joke nah, about height nah, in nah. there anywhere. Like she, she joked about my dick a couple times until I was like, hey, you know, my kids... Yeah. Watch this show. Yeah. And she was like, I'll stop. I said, yeah. thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> that, yeah. There was never a joke ever made about that. No, no, no. Because I was 6'3". What's there to joke about? A competitive advantage. Interesting fact number three. Josh Wolf's tall stature has occasionally served as an advantage in his personal life. As a professional, a former professional football player. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where they did their research, but whoever did the research is, should be fired. Immediately. I listen to as, as a former <sighs> let's be honest, I could have played professional football at Cap. six at six three with my athletic ability. What athletic ability? The six three athletic ability. I've seen dudes who are seven feet with zero athletic ability. Yeah, but that's not me. I'm six three with prime prime premier athlete okay. ability. Disagree. As a former professional football player, being standing at six foot three gave him an edge on the field. His height allowed him to see over the offensive line and locate open receivers, enhancing his quarterback skills during his plays. I, by the way, I you really, can't even throw a football anymore. I really, well, I could when I was playing. I, re <laughs> <laughs> I really want to talk to the person who wrote this article just to see where they got, got their information from. Yo, dude, cut back to that. Number four interesting fact about Josh Wolf. I wouldn't piss off, piss off the six foot three Josh Wolf. He's real mad. <laughs> yeah, he's not even real. So <laughs> I can piss him off all I want. Because <laughs> he does not exist. <laughs> he does. Ask this person. In Every this alternate universe. It's with on Dr. the Strange. internet. It's real. 
The perfect wingman. Interesting fact number four. Being tall also has its advantage in social settings. Joshua's height has lent itself well to being the perfect wingman for his friends, whether it's helping them stand out in a crowded room or providing an extra sense of security. Which, by the way... Like I was the bodyguard? Or you were their father. Like, that's... <laughs> Let me tell you something, by the way. I'm not a good wingman when you're out picking up women for this reason. Like, I am going to... Make fun of you. Yeah. You're not going to make them look good. No. The whole point is so they don't get... Like, I'm going to be yeah. like... I'm going to be like, I really appreciate you talking to most people. The herpes is a is a big no, but you seem to be okay with it. Yeah, it's... It, the, I know for a fact that is the last thing you would do, actually, is try mm -hmm. and make your friends look good. Mm -hmm. And also... How are you helping them stand out in a crowded room if you're 6'3"? Because people see me. I'm real tall, and they come over and talk to me. Yeah, but they're coming to talk to you, not to the shorter dude. But in your they, come, they come talk to me as a football star, obviously, that I can see over the <laughs> offensive line. They come talk to me, and then I introduce them with my fucking vagina neck. Look at that thing. Well, I, I just like how they kept repeating towering presence in this article. Like, like you're the fucking Statue of Liberty or something. Like, I, I don't... I don't I'm so confused. Okay. Don't be, dude. This, don't be confused by my giant stature. Oh, I'm not confused. Because again, <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> Embracing his height. Fun fact number five. Unlike some celebrities who may feel self-conscious about their height, which by the way, if you're tall and a celebrity, I don't think your height is what you're self-conscious about. I, I doubt it. Yeah, probably. Sorry about Joshua that. Joshua fully embraces his towering statue. He often say that again, say it again, say it again. Joshua fully embraces his towering statue. That's right. In his dreams. He often incorporates his height into his comedy routines. No, he doesn't. Making jokes about his long limbs and challenges of being a tall person. <laughs> you have never once experienced any of the challenges of a tall person. I, I have at almost six feet tall. I Two am, inches away from it. No, dude. Two inches away uh, from it. An inch away. Two inches away from it. An inch. Two. An inch. Two. Hmm. Inch. Two. Too. Not only that, but I, I like it, the experience of being so, but I do hear, you know what I hear a lot? The opposite. When people meet me, they're like, I thought you'd be taller. It's funny. When people meet me, they're like, why are you so tall? And I'm like, guys, I, I, I've, I've explained, I've said my height as many times as I think I could. Uh, it's so funny. People are like, I thought you'd be taller. I'm like, why? They're like, you look, you look taller on TV. I do. <laughs> How can you judge that? Yeah. Uh, because uh, how big is your TV? You know who's a shockingly tall person who I didn't expect him to be? Hmm. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, you told me that. I wouldn't Dude, have expected him either. He's like my height. I would have thought he was my height. I yeah, I agree. Like I'm I'm not trying to insult Chef Ramsay here, but he gives off not six foot three on TV. Then again, I can't tell how tall people are based on looking at you on TV, but he just doesn't give off. And dude, he's jacked. Jacked. Yeah. He's in great shape. Like it's Ridiculous. He's bigger than you. Yeah, but he's shaped like I am. Better shaped than you. Stop it. Dude, his arms are bigger than yours. Well, my arms are pretty he, small right he's now. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Like, so that was shocking. But how, how's his, how are his abs? I, I didn't ask him to lift up his shirt exactly, when I met him. Exactly, uh, exactly. Exactly what? Exactly. What point are you proving here? Exactly. Great talk. <laughs> <laughs> By doing so... He established, Josh Wolf establishes a relatable connection with his audience and showcases his ability to find humor in everyday situations, which is true, but not about his height. That, that, I don't. Yeah, I, I love the fact that it says that I use my long, dangly arms. I, it also makes me laugh because I'm going now and there's common questions about Josh Wolf's height. All of these questions, I'm going to tell you right now, these questions were written by the dude who answered, who, who wrote the article. Because all of them are just repeating the exact things he already answered on this. What's the questions? The first one is like, how tall is Josh Wolf? Yep. Josh Wolf stands at an impressive height of six foot three. Yes, he does. Cap. Number two, is Josh Wolf taller than Chelsea Handler? Yes. Yes. Josh Wolf is taller than Chelsea Handler. He's six three. He's five ten. Right. And Chelsea Handler is five six. Five She's ten and five, three quarters. Seven. Five ten and three quarters. Which we already went over. Was Josh Wolf? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a fucking measuring height in here next time we record. Okay. And I am going to stand right up against it. Okay. You're not six. Are you six three? Six three in shoes. I'm six two without them. Okay. But I'm usually in shoes when people meet me, so I just tell them I'm six two. Yeah. Or six three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure myself. Okay. I here's what I'm guessing for real. Five ten and a half is what I'm guessing for real. That's what I would guess for real. Too. Yeah. 
Oh, wait, are we pushing my hair down? Or are we yeah, it... hair down. Mm. Absolute hair yeah, down. Five, if you went hair five. up, you'd be six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> and five, ten and a half. All of right. the, yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, this this article is, has Joshua ever played basketball due to his height? While there is no public record of him playing <laughs> basketball professionally, his height would certainly give him advantage and advantage <laughs> on the court. <laughs> What's the name of the person who wrote this article? <sighs> Chat can GPT. we? Can we? What's that? Chat GPT. Can we? Can we? It doesn't even say who wrote it. They're too embarrassed to can put I their say, name. Can I say? Can I say? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me see if there's any other funny questions in this. Uh, oh, oh, how did Josh Wolf transition from football to comedy? After an injury cut his football career short, Dude, he look. discovered his talent for comedy and began pursuing a career. Where did Josh Wolf play professional football? Oh, good question. Do you, do you want me to answer it? Can I tell you the best part? Yeah. They didn't even give you a team. Was it in the AFL? Yeah, it says Josh will play professional football in the Arena Football League. Yeah. But it doesn't cite which team you played for. Well, listen, I played for all of them. You played for none of them. I played for all of them. You played for none I of them. I was so good that they had me play quarterback for every team. You you played for them in your dreams. I for sure did not play in the AFL in my dreams. Yeah, if no, I'm dreaming, no one, no one I'm not AFL. dreaming AFL. That is not what happens. <laughs> That's like dreaming about playing AAA baseball. Yeah, dude, I'm not. I'm not dreaming of the AFL. That it'll go to the top. It might tell you the top who wrote it. I went to the I went to the bottom and it didn't say. All right. But that article kills me. I mean, what the hell? Yeah, it doesn't say who wrote it. I think ChatGPT is accurate, by the way. How, really? Yeah, because nobody in their right sane mind would write all of those when they have no facts to back it up. Uh, I mean, has Josh ever addressed his height in interviews? Yeah, he addresses his height in various interviews. I don't think you ever have. No, of course not. Not, not. even one time. No, no, no. That's because nobody would ever ask me about my height because I'm clearly six feet. Because you're clearly the average height. Oh my God. So there's a lot of, this person wrote a lot of articles that I'm going to read. Like, um, oh yeah, it's going to be good. This is, I'm going to get high tonight and check that out. Hilarious.